Welcome back to my channel. Thought I'd start a little vloggy woggy. I'm going to a YouTube event today and I thought maybe I'll see if I can get some content to share with you. Don't think it'll be enough for like a whole vlog so I'll probably take you other places this week and next. Let's see. Just getting ready. It's basically a crater event so I'm really chuffed to have been invited. I think it's just you know talking about the opportunities on YouTube, an opportunity to meet other creators in the space. It is a health and fitness event so it'll be uh, similar creators. There's actually like a, a couple of panels as well and some conversations and I'm on one of those so that'll be interesting. I'm a little bit nervous about it because I've never done anything like this before. First time for everything we've got to just take ourselves out of our comfort zone sometimes. I'm just going to finish getting ready and then I'm going to hit the road and get my train. Don't judge my method for doing my hair. I look very curly Sue right now, but it does drop a little bit. <laughs> Obviously I'm in a rush, but here we go. I thought like this was meant to look more casual, but I'm worried the blazer has dressed me up too much, but it's too late now anyway. I'm going with it. I will see you Feeling again. good, like I should. When in Durkle, walk around the neighborhood. Feeling blessed, never stressed. Got the sunshine on the moment. I basically started skipping in lockdown and I shared my journey on social media just more so to track my own progress and tap into this existing but very small community of other skippers around the UK and the rest of the world. It just went crazy pretty much. Um, even with me actually I was getting into a bit of a phase of literally just churning out fun short routines. And now I'm sort of connecting with my audience a bit more, sharing a lot of behind the scenes, longer content and actually speaking through my sessions. And actually what I'm finding is people, you know, even I thought people just want perfection all the time. And I'm learning that they really don't. Like they actually don't. I had people on this journey and I was like, wait a minute, I actually need to show the struggles because it was all struggles before and now I'm actually getting perfect routines. I need to show the hard work that has gone into that. I wanted to think about your wellness side of things. So how do you keep motivated? How do you keep going with what's presumably quite hectic schedules and lots of content to make and brands to run? I'm actually going to kick this off and say I'm not very good at it yet. I think I'm, I'm very new to this and I think it's actually been really challenging for me because I guess I was kind of catapulted into it and things grew very quickly. I'd actually say to people don't be like me as in I don't think I've got enough boundaries at the moment and I think it's important I get some more. Skipping was my escape and then suddenly it's actually become my job as well so it's a very difficult, it's, the lines are very blurred and it's just I still need to figure out getting that balance to be honest. I left you guys at the event, the YouTube event, and I was meant to kind of debrief, and I, I haven't had a chance. I've been rushing, so I've been trying to get away. But it was so good. I've never done anything like that, as I said, and everyone was really complimentary, and no one could believe that it was my first panel. So I'm really proud of myself for getting out of my comfort zone and doing that. Now, I'm off to Spain. We're at Luton Airport. Frank and Benny's, OBS. Like half six. Doing a lot of travelling because next week I've got jump rope weekend so we're going to the States so it's a bit back and forth. Hopefully I can get some sunshine in Spain. I'm most looking forward to seeing Pixie. My parents took Pixie to Spain because whilst we're in the States and everything it's easier if they just look after her there. So I've actually been without her for like six days so I'm really looking forward to being reunited with her there for a few days. I'll probably share with you guys some of it. Um, I don't normally do this but let me know if you enjoy seeing more of me like aside from jump rope like my day to day life. Let me know and I'll catch you guys in a bit. Hello! <laughs> made it to Spain, had a chill day yesterday, just um, nothing much, sunbathed, went for dinner, early-ish night for us Sorry. and now we've just had another day sunbathing but I've decided I want to go to the gym. I don't usually gym on holiday but next week I'm, we're going to the States and I'm going to be away for 10 days so it's just a long time and I'm actually quite looking forward to it. I, I want to check out this gym actually which is round the corner from where we always stay here so if it's decent then 
I'll, I'll use it obviously in the future. I don't plan on sticking to my usual routine on holiday, but I do want to have an option to go occasionally when I fancy it because it makes me feel good. And I've dragged Mr. Jumps along with me as well. <laughs> when was the last time you went to the gym? About, I don't know, five years ago. I'm gonna kick his butt in the gym. I've never really shown you guys my workouts, but I mostly, all I do is lift weights and jump rope. That's what I do. And so we'll see. <laughs> I'm gonna have to ban you from, <laughs> from the vlog that's f fake news by the way when i left the uk my the last the last thing i did was a leg session so i'm gonna do upper body today i think i'm gonna do a back session so yeah see you in a bit we're in the gym it's a really decent gym yeah it's good size so i'm really happy it's like 10 minutes around the corner from where we stay so i'm gonna start with pull up and then yeah i'll try and take you around everything How did you find that, Mr. Jump? I've been away for too long. <laughs> I think I was probably quite harsh taking you on my back day because my back sessions are pretty brutal. No, I'm so glad we found that gym, that that gym is here because it's so easy to get to and I really enjoy using it. They had a good area actually to do some skipping. So obviously it gets very hot here. I mean, it's not hot at the moment. I think there's gonna like a storm brewing. It does get hot here. So good to have an indoor spot to do some jump rope as well. I will catch you guys later. Today can be a better day despite the challenge. All you gotta do is leave it better than you found it. It's gonna get difficult to stand but hold your balance. I is just thing on? <laughs> I feel like this is a very unrealistic vlog because all people will think I do is go to the gym on holiday. But to be honest, I've just had nothing to show. Except for actually, I could have shown earlier. Mr. Jumps, what did I have you doing this morning? Filming you skipping across a zebra crossing. <laughs> Taking forever doing it as well. <laughs> had to get the best clip I could. Didn't and I? The traffic, the road's normally so quiet. Yeah, when we were trying to film something, there was just constant traffic. Yeah, I mean, so this road, this main road here is literally, I swear, it's, there's never any traffic on it. And it was just, it's a Saturday as well. And it was literally like every time we started filming and a car was coming. To be fair, I mean, you, you would not be able to do that in the UK at all. Like we did get quite a few takes and it didn't help that I kept messing up. I changed the routine a couple of times because it was something I choreographed really, really quick. So when I actually did it, it wasn't quite right and I just had to change a couple of bits. I think it's turned out all right. I haven't got around to sharing it anywhere yet, but we'll see. We'll see if you guys like it. But yeah, off to the gym again after another day of just chilling by the pool. We're going to do a leg session. I, I'm not going to do what I normally do at home because I actually do want to have a little bit of a rest from my usual stuff. And I haven't got my squat shoes with me and I don't like squatting without squat shoes. Not properly anyway, I don't like doing heavy squats. The other option is deadlifts. I don't know if I'm in the mood for doing deadlifts today. I wouldn't normally do them the day after training back. And oh. usually it's our dog doing the barking. <laughs> Nicely barked out for a change. Yeah, I only we only chain, trained back yesterday. I wouldn't normally do deadlifts the day after my back session. But I think I'm going to go more quad focus because I think when I get back to the UK in a couple of days, I'll do a glute session anyway. How's your back after yesterday? It's not so much my back. It's some re It's my my triceps and my uh, what are these wing the wing muscles? Wing muscles. <laughs> the wing. Uh, the wing. The lats. Yeah. I've got a man half down today. I won't be going too hard on Mr. Jumps today.
done. Legs are like jelly. Nearly fell down the stairs on the way out. We've got like a 25 minute walk to dinner tonight, so that's gonna be fun. Yeah, another session in the bag. Don't know if I'm gonna gym tomorrow or not. Feels good to get sessions in. I'll catch you guys later. Hey, hey, hey. Uh, so there's something on there. God, I get dog hairs everywhere. I'm just about to do a combo and a choreo something and film it and yeah let's see how I go on. everyone falls down sometimes but you just gotta know it'll all be fine it's okay I am some back in the UK. It's a bit chilly, but actually the weather here is better. Well, it's sunnier than it is in Spain. The day we left Spain yesterday, it was raining. It's always a good thing. It makes it much easier to leave your holiday. I've got a busy couple of days because I'm going to the States on Thursday. Today, I'm literally, I've been up so early for me. I had to get up at like six o'clock, which I never have to do because I've got um, a hair appointment in London at 8.30. So yeah, I better go and catch my train. I've just parked up. I need to remember to pay my parking. <laughs> remember to pay your parking, Lauren, if you're watching this back later. I just need to do it on my way. I need to do it now. I'm going to do my, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to pay my parking and then I'm going to go and catch a train. I'll see you guys later. just been um, finishing off another YouTube video actually and I've just uploaded it. Look at me being all YouTube. I've been vlogging today. I've been finishing off videos to upload. I'm doing a terrible job of it though because I know that this vlog or whatever I'm going to call it, it's a vlog I guess, is just all over the place. So if you've made it this far, well done and genuinely let me know in the comments if you like all this stuff because obviously it's very much there's been a lot of stuff in this which is my life outside of jump rope and i'm interested to know if you actually enjoy seeing it all so i hope you enjoyed it i absolutely love my hair by the way i'm so glad to be slightly blonder again going into summer i also stocked up on some products from michael van clark i already because i buy their products anyway i've got plenty of shampoo and conditioner i use it all the time and i actually already have their lifesaver treatment but I did stock up on the Ultra one because it's even more moisturizing. The best thing about their treatments is you can apply them, well, you apply them to your hair when it's dry. Cause I cannot, I just will not do treatments if I have to wash my hair, then apply the treatment, then I don't know, stand around cold in my towel for like half an hour or 
get out of the shower or whatever. Like I don't like flipping my head over the bath and washing my hair that way. So it's made such a difference to my hair. I've been going to Michael Van Clark now for the last year. So having Michael cut my hair, having Rocky take such good care coloring my hair and using their products as well has made such a difference to quality of my hair like it's in such good condition if you are in london definitely check out their salon if you're anywhere else and want to try their products i'll pop the link in the description for you i'm gonna leave this vlog here if you want more stuff like this make sure you subscribe give us a thumbs up if you do like it and let me know in the comments what else you'd like to see on my channel i will see you in my next video that's a wrap Feeling blessed, never stressed Got the sunshine on my Sunday best I'm also very excited about this thing I'm gonna be massaging my head all the time with it